Hi, I'm Chris from Paddleboard Specialist, and today we're going to be talking about used boards and really what to look out for when you're buying a used board. You know, there's a, there's a lot of different things out there, a lot of different you know websites that you can go on and find used product nowadays. Um, Distress Mullet does a great job. You know, we've got our own listing on our site. You know, several shops have their own um, have their own used product as well. Or you find something in Classifieds or Craigslist or something along those lines. Um, you know, it's a little bit like buying a used car. You know, it's like you want to know what to look out for when you're going out there and taking a look at, at boards. So one of the things to look out for is the weight of the board. So know the spec weight of that board before you actually go see it or before you get on the phone and, or you email the, the person that you're going to talk to. Um, if they have, you know, hopefully that person has like a bathroom scale or something like that. See if you can get a picture of them, you know, with the board on, on the scale and take a picture. And so you know exactly how much that board weighs. Um, if you go to see it at someone's home, again, you know, hopefully they have, you know, bathroom scale or something like that, then they can put it on so you can see how much that board weighs. It's really, really important because if a board's taken on weight, you're going to see that, you know, you're going to see that weight creep up from the spec weight. Most boards are, are always going to, you know, they're going to kind of deviate from that spec weight, you know, one to one, one and a half pounds or so, um, just depending upon how the board's been laid up. But, you know, if you start seeing that three, four pound ring, you know, that, that you see it go up, chances are, you know, either it's had a repair. Um, or the board's taking on some water. So just something for you to take a look at and, uh, and be mindful of. Um, second thing to look out for, and, and this is if, you know, if you've gone online and you've found a board, something that you like, you know, try and get as many pictures as possible. Make sure that you get pictures of any possible repairs that the board has, has gone through or any blems, anything like that. You wanna make sure you get a picture of it so you can really take a good look at it. If you actually go and you're, and you're there with the board in person, you know, try and go out, take it out into the sun, take a look at it, you know, from lots of different angles. You want to, you want to move it around so you can see exactly what's going on on the, on the surface, you know, um, of, of that board. You're looking for any, any indentations, any imperfections, anything on the outside, you know, of that, of that board that's going to, you know, that's going to tell you that, you know, yes, you know, it's a stain to hit here or, you know, or something that might have been might have been actually repaired and then they painted over top of it. A lot of times, you know, when, when you'll see some of, some of the repairs, um, you'll actually get, you know, you'll have a gloss coat and you'll, they might have used some gloss paint, but you'll get a little bit of a haze or a little bit of overspray, you know, that kind of happens around that. Um, that's something that, you know, you definitely want to look out for. Um, the third thing you want to look at is the fin. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, a lot of people forget about the fin or all of a sudden you get there and the, and the board has a brand new fin, um, you know, you know, it could be nothing, but the other thing is, you know, if all of a sudden you find the fin and, and it is the stock fin and the stock fin's really beaten up, it probably gives you an indication of how that board's been treated throughout its lifetime. Um, so something to kind of take a look at. Along with that fin, you know, the next thing you should look at is take a look at that fin box. If you see any sort of cracking or anything along that fin box, you know, on the outside, um, you know, that could be a telltale sign that, again, that board has maybe... Um, you know, had some impact or, you know, maybe it was, it was laid down, rested on the fin box and it, and it you know, it sustained some damage. Um, and it, that's another entry point for water to get into. Um, some of the lesser quality, you know, product that, that's out there in the industry, you know, they don't, they don't have that, uh, that epoxy sandwich construction and they don't have that denser foam that that fin box goes into. Um, so sometimes you'll see that fin box and it's kind of, it's kind of loose or it's kind of cracked around it. Um, those are things you definitely, you know, you definitely want to look out for. Hopefully, with these tips, you'll be able to make a good decision when you're going out there and you're looking online or you're actually seeing that board in person. Thanks.